Question 9bi. The diagram below shows a potential divider circuit. I show that voltage out is equal to voltage in into R2 all over R1 plus R2. I, I, if voltage in divided by voltage out is equal to 2.5 and R2 is equal to 30 ohm, calculate R1. Solution. Okay, let me divide this workspace into three. One, two. So one, two, three. We have three workspace. Now I put down something here. I say from Ohm's law, we know that the voltage is equals to IR. You know that from Ohm's law. Now, if you look at this uh, diagram, the voltage in and the voltage out. Now, the voltage in coming in is going to affect this resistor here and this resistor here. And again, if you look at this resistance, they are arranged in series. Resistance are arranged in series. So since the resistance are arranged in series, the first part of the equation says we should show that V out is equal to V in into R2 all over R1 plus uh, R2. So for the first part of the equation, I, the I part of the equation, this part. Now, since these resistance are in series, the combined the combined resistance is equal to the sum of those resistance R1 plus R2. So we have said that before. So from Ohm's law, the voltage in here will be flowing through this resistance and this resistance. So we can say that uh, V in will be equal to the current flowing through this circuit into R1 plus R2. So we have that from that case. Now also, if you look at the voltage out, the current flowing through this voltage out will only affect this resistance. So we can say that V out is equals to I into R2. So we have that. So that is what we have there. Now, since we are asked to show this, it would be wise for us to say that V out divide by V in. So if we do that, we are going to come up with something we can use here. So V out is I R2, uh, V in is I into R1 plus R2. So we have that. This current are the same, so we can take that out. Now, at the end of the day, we have that uh, we cross multiply. If we cross multiply here, we have that therefore V out as requested by the equation is equals to cross this, use this to multiply this whole setup. So use this to multiply everything here. You now have that V in is V in into arrow two all over R1 plus R2. So that is what we have. And that's basically what the question requested that we should do. So that is the solution to this uh, question. This part of this question. Now let's look at the II. The II. The II as well asks us to find R2. Since we know that uh, we already know that but before then, we are given this, take note of that, we are given this, that V in over V out is this, and R2 is this, so you can extract that out if you're actually solving. Now, we know that from what we have calculated before here, from what we did here, we know that V out over V in is equals to R2 all over R1 plus R2. So if we know that. Now, since we are we're giving V in, we're giving V in uh, over V out to be 2.5. It will also be wise to say that, let me put it somewhere here. It will be wise since V in over V out is equals to 2.5. We can say that V out over V in 
will be equals to 1 over 2.5 1 over 2.5 so we can actually have that we can have that because just for us to reverse that 1 over 2.5 so we can have that or 2.5 so another person can solve it this way now this is how another person can solve is substitute this into this place you can still have the same thing but what i'm going to do is that i'm not going to take through this proceed this approach so i'm just showing you you can do it this way and it still give you the same result so let's turn up this let this come down this goes up so we have v v in over v out to be equals to this will go up this will come down so we have r1 plus r2 all over r2 so if you have this this is what we have now so we can go ahead our v in v out is 2.5 according to the equation 2.5 so we can substitute that 2.5 is equals to our r1 was not given that is what we are looking for we are asked to calculate so we still maintain our r1 our r2 is 30 our r2 again is 30 okay that is not showing I'm going to take this to the next slide. So we can continue. This is over 30. I think this is showing better now, over 30. So all we need to do is just to work out this and we are good to go. Now I'm going to cross multiply 2.5 times 30 and R this over 1 if you must indicate that. So R1 plus 30, let's write that. R1 plus 30 times 1, we have R1 plus 30 equals to 2.5 times 30 so when you multiply that you have r1 plus 30 is equals to 2.5 times 30 2.5 times 30 will give you 75 75 so that our r1 will be equals to 75 minus i'm crossing this plus 30 over minus 30 and that will be equals to uh, 45 that will be equals to 45 so 45 ohm is our arrow one as requested by the equation so this is how this the particular question is being solved and i will advise you to go over this and if you have any question feel free to ask us in the comment section